Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. A bit of a mishmash video this really. Um, the main purpose is to talk about the Retivis RT97 and a, quite a big update that's happening with this. Um, also something cool that Paul Noximan sent me uh, with regards to amateur radio and um, just a little bit of radio work that I did today while I was on my lunch break. Um, sort of uh, quite nice the weather's been pretty good to get out there and play a bit of radio on my lunch so the first thing uh the retivis rt97 so i got this back in january um and it came with this cool hat as well which is a nice plug for retivis there um yeah uh, i got this uh, got this back in january and i did a, a series of videos on this we did a um basically a sort of a technical video on it we had a look inside it and we did some proper testing with james uh, fletcher to his zero kba and the results from this thing were cracking and I, I always said in the videos it's a great proof of concept now the biggest piece of feedback to come back um on this is the fact that the shift was only at the time of filming the first video was 10 megahertz so a 10 megahertz split which isn't ideal really uh depending on which country you're in so i actually i fed this back to retivis because a lot of you guys commented so i sent them an email and said look a lot of people are saying um, you know that this is a really cool piece of kit, but the uh, the 10 megahertz split isn't isn't the, the the greatest thing on it. So they've listened and um, they got back to me and said basically they offer this now in a 5 megahertz split, which I think is really good. This um, opens this up a lot more for um, for legal use and for use in amateur radio, and um, depending on which country you're in. So it's a start. You know, I said from the beginning that this is a really good proof of concept item, and the fact that now Retivis actually listened and um, come back and they've done it in a five meg split is um, is great. So yeah, looking forward to see what other developments come out with this uh, portable repeater. But yeah, it's a really good bit of kit. If you haven't seen the videos of me testing this, I'll put them in the um, link below and at the end of the video so you can see them i really had fun um, playing around with this uh, this this uh, piece of gear so yeah that's just one thing to bear in mind so if you want to have a look at that repeater the link is in the description below and it's now offered in a five megahertz split or 10 so what you can do is uh, if you were to buy one you would just email retivis the um, frequencies you want and they'll put them in for you so uh, really good the thing uh, the thing because it's it has a duplexer inside, a cavity duplexer. That's what limits the splits on it. Um, you can you could change it manually, manually because, for example, mine's the 10 megahertz split version, but it will probably be an eight, an eight to ten or an eight to twelve megahertz duplexer. Um, so it can be retuned um, for different frequencies. The only thing is, you need. Um, like a, um, a test meter and all sorts of stuff a oscilloscope to do this and it's 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 not something that uh, your average joe can really do it requires um, a bit of equipment and a bit of knowledge so you know i wouldn't be messing with this but yeah really good that they've come back and done this in a five megahertz split other thing um i just thought i'd show you this i've got my um radio here you might notice this is in a di bit of a different um, charger I'm not sure, the writing's the wrong way around for me. I'm not sure if you'll see that, but it says RWM, which stands for Ringway Manchester. And Paul Noxyman made me this. And this is a charging base um, holder for the uh, Retivis radios that take this type of base. I think the MD380 takes this as well. And basically, you can um, you can put this in and it will allow you to stand the radio up a little bit. So if you've got the, the darker screen, you can see the screen better. So Paul sent me that with the gold writing on. Really happy with it, so thanks very much, Paul. Check out his channel, Noxyman, um, to see what he's doing with 3D prints at the moment. I'm going to be getting a 3D printer in over the next couple of months, so I'm looking forward to doing some amateur radio stuff with that. And Paul, as I say, is building a Pi PF8 from scratch, so check out his videos. And then today, um, especially those who live in the UK will notice that the weather was unseasonably warm and unseasonably sunny today. We're sort of end of February and it was 22 degrees where I was today. So I uh, work brought me to Macclesfield in Cheshire um, today. So I did a little bit of um, radio work on my lunch hour. I um, decided to have a quick drive out of town um, and go up to the edge of, of Croker Hill and put a couple of calls out, mainly to scope out a few... Um, areas of doing some radio work a few um high ground areas with decent takeoff and it was just nice to get out for an hour and i worked a simplex soda station on uh, on two meters on the way back he was uh, i think it was two zero triple y you'll see in the video in may but yeah it's 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 nice and refreshing to get out there and do a bit of unplanned radio and you, it really sort of surprises me how much i actually enjoy it 
to get out there just for an hour in the sun, especially when you're at work as well. And, and to play a bit of radio, it was, uh, it was great. Shame I had to go back to work as well. But the main point of that um, little little trip out was firstly to find a couple of new points. And um, I'm going to be making a couple of portable antennas. Um, <clears throat> A subscriber of mine, I forget his call sign now, apologies, sent me plans for a sleeve dipole which is made out of coax, dead simple for 2 and 70. Um, and I'm going to make one of those and get out portable. So, yeah, I'll leave that one there, guys. Just a little bit of an update there, uh, mainly around the Retivis RT97. Uh, now it's offered in the 5 megahertz split and the link to that is in the description and the links to my videos are in the description as well. So make sure you check those out. And um, cheers to um, Paul for sending me this uh, this base unit for the um, radio as well. Happy with that. So yeah, I'll leave that one there. The um, clips of me out and about today playing radio, I'm going to put in the end of the video. But I'm going to say 7-3 here. We'll catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button, click the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. This is just a quick one really, it's like 18 degrees here today, the sun's out, you can smell the grass uh, being mowed on the fields and stuff like that and it's sort of really starting to feel like spring, which then made me think about radio and playing radio. Uh, as the uh, as the evenings start to draw out and the weather starts to get better, it opens up a lot of opportunities for playing radio. So. I'm, uh, I'm in Macclesfield. I'm actually in work today, but I've come out on my uh, on my uh, lunch, and my travels have brought me to Macclesfield today. And I um, have found a couple of a couple of little spots, and I'm parked up here. I'm going to show you the couple of places that I found, uh, which I think would be ideal for radio. Um, so the first one is here, which I'm going to show you now. So you can see we've got an absolutely fantastic takeoff here, straight across Greater Manchester. So Greater Manchester and Lancashire are right in the distance there. Um, so really good takeoff point. And another nice little thing is we've got the Croker Hill TV transmitter there, or radio transmitter. I forget which it is now. It's part of the uh, microwave backbone network during the Cold War. And this linked up to places like Heaton Park, um, Pie Green in Staffordshire, and provided um, communications links in the event of nuclear war so yeah we've got that there and of course a really good takeoff straight across greater manchester which is good and the other reason it's a good place is because if we travel a little bit further up this road uh, we've got an even better view straight into cheshire in north staffordshire okay so there's another little view of the croker hill transmitter there it's a lovely day today barely a cloud in the sky this transmitter is actually quite close to the road. It's closer than it actually appears. There's no road leading to it though publicly. I think there's public footpath, so that might be somewhere to investigate at a later date. Have a walk up to the tower there. Um, it, yeah, you can see this from quite a way away. You can see this from Buxton, from up the Catton Field. You can see it from Macclesfield, from um, various parts of Stockport. Okay, so I'm not sure how well the camera's picking this up, but just a bit further down the road, we've actually come down quite a bit now, um, but there's a good view there, straight across into Cheshire and North Staffordshire, so this is another ideal takeoff point, and if you actually had a, a, a pole-mounted antenna, um, just beyond, beyond those trees there is um, across Cheshire and into Manchester again, so yeah, really, really interesting little place for radio. I, uh, I've been looking at this on Google Maps for a while and Google Earth and stuff to see if it would be a suitable spot for radio, and it does look... Um, it does look pretty good. You can see we've got a, like a reservoir down there, so it's a nice spot, definitely a nice spot. Um, I'm thinking maybe making a couple of homebrew antennas, maybe like a, a sleeve dipole or something like that for 2 metres or 70, and just see how well it works. Um, get up uh, higher up on the hill there, out in the countryside, and uh, see what sort of contacts we can make. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. You can just see on the top of the hill there, that's the top of the transmitter tower. So we've come down quite a bit, but there's still a good takeoff from here. And then behind that peak there is the cloud, which is up at um, Congleton, which is another piece of high ground. A lot of people use that for SOTA station work. So, yeah. Oh, thanks for the cloud. <coughs> I just looked at the rig. I'm just going to turn the power down. I'm running 10 watts now. 
uh, FT857. Now I've got an X300 colinear up at just over a thousand feet, QSL. All copied, all copied. Thank you so much for the contact. There's another station there, so with your permission, I'll just crack along. Mike 6, Mike Papa November Mobile, 2 Echo 0, Yankee, Yankee, Yankee Portable. My pleasure, bye-bye now. There's a Mike 3 Mobile, I think. Yeah, M3 HHY Mobile. Um, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, big signal. You're 5 and 9 plus, a real 5 and 9 plus. Uh, operator name is Mike, QSL. Yep, all understood, Mike. You're a good 5'9 plus plus this side as well. I'm just currently parked up near Bosley in Macclesfield, so the south end of Macclesfield, overlooking the uh, the Cheshire Plains towards uh, Jodrell Bank. I'm just on my lunch break from work, so I thought I'd switch the radio on. The name this side is Lewis, Lima Echo Whiskey, India Sierra. Back to you. Yeah, hi, Lewis. I could wave at you from up here if you're uh, at Macclesfield. Uh, I'm looking at the Jodrell Bank telescope as I'm talking to you, QSL. Yeah, what's your location? Are you on that um, that big hill that's sort of between Macclesfield and the Cloud at Congleton? No, I'm, in, I'm on the one, it's just outside of stoke on Trent, it's called Malcop. It's the one with the, like, they've got the castle on the top of it, QSL. Yeah, I think I'm looking at it now. I'm, I'm sure I'm looking at it now. I could be wrong, but I, I sure, I'm sure I am anyway. Just go again with your name again from M3HHY Mobile. Yeah, Lewis, the name is Mike. Mexico, Italy, Kilowatt Echo, QSL. Yep, yeah, no worries, Mike. Golden stud. OK, well, I'll let you uh, crack on, see if you can work some more contacts. It's a beautiful day for it. Uh, absolutely stunning weather for February. You'd never believe it was February. Um, so I'll pass it back to you for a final, and uh, good luck. Hope you get m uh, plenty more contacts, and I'm going to go back to work, unfortunately. 73 Mike, M3, HHY Mobile, Macclesfield. Oh, yeah, uh, work. That's a four-letter word, that is, mate. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. Have a great day. All the best. You are then? CQ, 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 HEMA, CQ, HEMA, 2, Echo, 0, Yankee, 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 Portable, Point CQ, HEMA, from Golf, Stroke, Hotel Sugar Papa, 020, Mile Cop. Okay, so that wasn't bad, was it? A little bit of a scout of a couple of locations there. Definitely got some ideas for some antennas I want to make um, and some uh, little locations round and about here to make some contacts with. So uh, that was good. And we got Mike there, the uh, the SOSA what station. Was he's up uh, at Stoke on Trent on Mal Cop, so he's not too far away from where I am here. So yeah, nice little lunch break uh, radio venture that. I must do it more often. It's, it's good to just get out on the radio for half an hour or an hour um, and just put a few calls out. And if no one comes back to you, there's always so to stations when the weather's nice so yeah unfortunately i've got to go back to work now guys so that's it for me for today but it's just a quick one i thought i'd share with you and uh, yeah we'll catch you in the next one